Hi, we're at another trail. So keep watching and see where we are today. On the Cedar Point Tideland Trail, there's lots of different lengths of the trail you can do. So we came up along here. We've been on here for about a quarter of a mile or so. And we can go left. And I think that brings us, that's, a, that's the medium loop, I think. And then the longer loop, which is what we're going to do now. So I let the dogs off the leash for a minute. They were really kind of pulling on the leash and really wanted to run around out here. I don't think there's anybody else out here, but we're keeping an eye. But I want to show you how peaceful and quiet it is out here. We're only maybe a half a mile, maybe a mile to the foot of the Emerald Isle Bridge. And look where we are. It's so peaceful. So guess what I found? Just like at the Boathouse Trail, they marked the trip hazards with orange. Maybe it's the same person managing this trail. I wouldn't be surprised. People who love trails want to keep them developed and used and safe. So something that I want to share that I didn't know much about when I moved down here. Um, I don't know if I've shared that I am originally from Pittsburgh. So I moved down here actually full time in 1989 and then moved up to the Crystal Coast in 1991. But I want to show you these cypress trees. Um, I didn't know much about them, but my husband was telling me they're just an amazing, amazing tree that sends out these shoots and... Um, a really good marsh and land stabilizer. But I just thought you might like to see it. I try to save every cypress tree I find in my yard. But they're just amazing. Okay, check this out. This is really neat. I'm coming along here, and all of a sudden this is what you see. There really is no sound to be heard out here. If you can't find a peaceful feeling out here, I'm not sure what could bring you peace. Except for maybe if you're a city person and you really like the busyness and the noise and the traffic and that makes you feel peaceful. Which, hey, more power to you, period. My sister lives in the city in Pittsburgh and she loves it. So I think there's a time and place for everything. And for me today, being out here in the woods, on the trail, is feeling peaceful. Okay, so on this trail, you are going to eventually get over to that walkway bridge area section. This is gonna lead out, we're gonna join up with that trail and then we'll be closer to the water. You know, these ferns are so neat. You see them popping up places. When we lived overseas in Guam, we went to New Zealand and we went through this forest that was completely filled with ferns, but they were like gigantic. It looked like it was dinosaur times. So this is just a mini version. How about that? You can go in your mind's eye. Okay, so we've been walking for probably about 10 or so minutes. We've been in the woods for all time. And we're just about to come out of it. And I want to show you what it's like. Look at this.
and we're out. And now, look at what we see. I mean, it's just, it's really beautiful. And there, if you can see in the distance, if you watched my video on the Boathouse Creek Trail, that is similar view you have where you're seeing um, the cars going over into Swansboro from Cedar Point and the water there. So I'm leaving the dogs off the leash. Like I said before, I have said it before a lot of times, I know that you're supposed to leave them on the leash. And most of the time, if I think there's anybody around, I do. If there's no one around and I can see there's nobody ahead of me, so I'm gonna leave them off for a little bit. But I will say, look at these metal things. Tossie really can't stand them. Come on, Tossie, see, I'll sh show you that you just don't like, she just doesn't like them. Storm has no idea that they're any different than the wood. But Tossie takes her a bit of time to get over. I have to coax her. See how she's walking? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! We're going to sneak up on this bird. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, I think the storm's going to scare him away. Yep, he did. Okay, so as I'm coming up here and I'm walking along, I'm thinking about the proverbial fork in the road. So as you're watching my videos about all the parks here in the Crystal Coast area, think about this for a second. If you're thinking about moving here, you could go buy a beach house. You could retire here. You could stay where you are you could move here full time. There's a few choices that you have and what's stopping you? If you're wondering about whether you could rent it on the off season, I mean, on the summer season, you come during the off season. Are you wondering if you could afford it just to get it for yourself and keep it for when you wanna come down to visit? Are you trying to decide whether you should sell your house and buy one down here and move here full time or buy a small place where you're from and make this your permanent home? I'm here to help you. So give me a call and we can talk about it. There are a lot of options. There are lots of price ranges and we can work together to make your dream come true. No matter what your dream is. Okay, so this is funny. I am trying to get back to my car and we took the wrong path. You can get turned around out here. I mean, you can't get lost because it really only ends up in one spot, but I wanted to be over there and I'm over here. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to get back to my car, but at the end, there is a bathroom and I'm gonna pop in there and see what it looks like and let you know. And um, we're just gonna keep making our way. So here's the entrance to the Cedar Point Tideland Trail. I wanna zoom in on the loops. I took the long trail and made it even longer because I got lost. <laughs> wow, it's a 1.3 mile long loop, but I think I did a little longer than that. And this spans out to the bathrooms, which I'm gonna check out and the parking lot. Okay, so I am done with my walk. Oh, okay, I didn't even expect that. Storm's jumping in the water. I checked out the bathrooms there. They just washed them, so they cleaned them. So they looked fresh and good. Um, and then I walked down here to the boat ramp and dock. Um, I am sweating, as you can see. At the beginning of the walk, it wasn't too bad, but towards the end, man, especially since I got lost, it took us a lot longer. Oh, my hair, see? Improving my hair just is what's gonna, it's gonna do what's gonna do. Anyway, I did wanna also share this, that um, this water, when you see the dogs drinking it, um, it isn't salt water. So it's brackish, 
mix of fresh and salt water. Um, anyway, this is a great park to come and see. You really wouldn't um, know it unless you knew about it or you wouldn't see, you wouldn't come across it. It takes a bit to get to it as far as driving back in the entrance. You go past some campsites, um, RV park kind of campsite area. Um, well, it's not an RV park, sorry. It is an, actually an RV camper area and probably tents. Anyway, I hope you like this trail and go check out the rest of my trails. I've got several um, on um, the Boathouse Creek and also Hammock uh, State Park. And then all the other parks around town have little trails around them too. See you next time.